It isn't easy. Descendants. Enzo and Esimo are at the scene. They're trying to get things under control there. Alpha has had to take some leave, but he has received full progress reports for all operations. All that effort to find the Ironheart, only to lose it again. In the past, Alpha had Jeremy court-martialed and sent to the military detention center. But he still had faith in him. He is a descendant, after all. But now, with the second Ironheart, Alpha needs time to recover. Having a discouraged commander can demoralize troops on the front line. Unless we receive special orders, we must carry on with routine missions and await further developments. HQ, we have detected anomalies in the void, requesting an intercept battle. Damn it! This isn't a routine mission! Descendant, you better go to Seneca. HQ will try to deal with any unexpected situations. Classification tag dead bright. Closing in at an unexpected high speed. HQ, requesting alert status to be raised to immediate response. Descendant, Jeremy's actions caused the remains of the Executioner to send a signal into the void. Unstable materials were stimulated by the Iron Heart, and I'm sure Jeremy had some void energy in his possession. I think that must have reacted with the Iron Heart, sort of like jump-starting it. Dead brides have always been bonded with Executioners. I believe this accounts for their immediate reaction to this signal. We don't have much time. Please, intercept, Descendant.
death to the dead bride. I knew you could do it. You seem to have something on your mind, descendant. Is it about Alpha? I know he doesn't trust me. For my part, I would like to share all the data I have with him, but it's a mystery even to me as to why neither Jeremy nor Alpha can connect with me. I was never granted permissions to configure such things. But one thing I can tell you for certain. I am a code designed to protect Ingress. Descendant, so far I have provided the technology to not only search for iron hearts, but also to track Colossi. It would be wonderful if you could find the third iron heart with these technologies and work with Alpha to find a solution. Of course, there are some things that are more important even than that. With that in mind, please go and meet with Luna and Kyle. They seem to have information regarding a new iron heart. It appears to be highly reliable. Luna, I said turn that music down. I can't think straight. Excuse me. This music is designed to relax your body and your mind. It only sounds loud and annoying to you because you don't have the soul of an artist. <sighs> <sighs> she just doesn't listen. How did I get landed with this kid? What? You have a problem with me? I'm an artist. I feel, enjoy, and perform music. Uh, whatever. Hey, you! Come here. I've got something you need to know. Huh? I have so many melodies flowing through my head ever since I met the guide. But it feels like there's something missing. I could feel with my entire being that there was a final piece of the puzzle which would complete my song. But I couldn't figure out where it was. It was driving me crazy. So, I snuck out without telling Alpha. I was careful not to get caught. I went toward where I felt the puzzle piece was, and eventually I arrived at the Agna Desert. That's when I heard a very loud melody. It reminded me of the one I heard on the day I met the guide. When I approached it to listen closer, I saw a red sphere. As soon as I saw the sphere, the melody was complete, and I felt it flow through my entire body. It was wonderful. But then, you know what happened? I ran into this big clunker here, saying that he'd felt some strange magnetic field or something. And that's when I realized the Iron Heart must be there. But then this Tin Brain started going on about smashing the Red Sphere open and taking the Iron Heart out by himself. I never said that I would smash it. I only wanted to have a look at it. Stop making things up. Whatever. Anyway, I had to tell Alpha all about it and came back to Albion on his orders. That's why Alpha is looking for you. Why are you so amazed by what this mad woman is saying? Don't just stand there, get moving! Who are you calling a mad woman? And you! Don't nod your head in agreement like that! Just get going and go see Alpha! Now! The success of this operation will lead us to victory. I'm sure that Kyle and Luna told you what they saw, so I'll cut to the chase. Both of them believe that the Red Sphere in the Agna Desert very likely contains the Ironheart. This is a golden opportunity for us. There's no guarantee that the Ironheart is actually inside the Sphere, but it's the best shot we've had so far, and the Magisters agree. I've mobilized a team to investigate the Red Sphere. That includes you. The excavation team will also be joining you, as they were working in the Agna Desert until recently. I hope this operation secures us an Ironheart. The incident with Jeremy included, we always watch the Ironheart slip through our fingers right before our eyes. If we can't defeat Karel, even with our strategic asset, the Guide, at our disposal, the future of humanity is grim. Good luck. And 
what has our hero come to seek answers for, I wonder? Well, it's finally time for a proper introduction. My name is Reyna, and I head up the world's best excavation team. Nice to meet you. The Agna Desert. This place is paradise for us on the excavation team. There are so many exciting things to uncover, including the ruins of the ancestors. And the Red Sphere. We've never seen it before, and there are no records of it either. That's why we want to dig into it and figure out what it is ourselves. If the Iron Heart really is inside it, it'll be a historic discovery for the excavation team. And that's why I wanted to talk to you to let you know that I am fully invested in this operation, and I look forward to working with you. See you in the desert. last remaining Ironheart. That makes me a little worried, but I'll give this mission my all, regardless. Kyle is doing aerial recon to see if the Volgas are up to anything. Luna's focusing on sensing the beat generated from the Ironheart, and she's also listening out for the unique noises generated by Volgas' movements, of course. Ah, I can see her expression changing. See the way she's frowning? I think that means the Volgas are on the move. We need to create an environment where she can concentrate. Descendant, take care of him. For Luna to be able to concentrate, you must pacify this wasteland. Kite, there's a lot of reverb coming from you. Quiet. Oh, I see. Shh. You're here! I memorized the sound of your footsteps. It's time to bust some Volga's heads and smash some Kuiper. If you destroy the Kuiper that's been mined by the Volgus, it puts out a unique sound wave. I'm gonna use that to find enemy comms equipment that's made of the same material. After that, I'll listen in on those comms. All you need to do is wipe out the Volgus and sweep up their Kuiper. Easy, right?
descendants are already here. Forget disabling the security. Begin data extraction. Whoa. Even my fans would understand what that means. And judging by the way his voice echoed, we should be looking for somewhere indoors. Nice job. It'll be heavily guarded while the enemy extracts the data. And the interior is very small, so be careful. underground. Anyway, I've just sent the coordinates. Go check it out. Descendant, I don't know if you noticed, but this is also a facility that the ancestors use. If what Luna and Reyna are saying is correct, the data the Vulvas are extracting while underground must be related to the Red Spear and the Iron Heart. It won't be easy to bypass the security system set up by the Ancestors, but we shouldn't underestimate Vulgus technology either. Let's hurry. We must stop the enemy before they extract all the data.
Hey, descendants. The reason the excavation team couldn't reach here is because the Volga started digging here first. Anais told me that they brought the Maxims, the ones who didn't escape, and forced them to work. That's why this place is called the Asylum. According to Anais, the Magisters who were brought here for forced labor might have found some information that they couldn't have solved the code. Actually, they probably intended not to know the code. She said that we have to hurry up with the search anyway. Volga security increased their decryption speed, especially since operations in the sterile land. mentioned words are seal, red sphere shell component, and I've assessed the shell analysis data. The shell is composed of a similar material to the links surrounding the iron heart. Combining all of the data, I believe we can conclude that the ancestors inserted the iron heart into the red sphere.
This is connected to the civil war that broke out in Vespers. Perhaps the ancestors sealed the Iron Heart inside the Red Spear because they felt that a simple vault couldn't hold it. I cannot figure out the exact steps they took, but the important thing is that the sealing was successful. The ups are down. They need to be recharged.
We are also trying to gather as much data as possible. Keep up the good work. No.
Decryption protocol activated. Compress data extraction complete and security removed. Beginning analysis. The data contained records of the ancestors who tried to remove the Ironheart, their operation plans, and the blueprint for the special weapon to break the seal. The weapon's power source was... Arcane. If we can use this information effectively, we'll be able to obtain the Ironheart safely. We must inform Alpha and come up with a plan.